Hey, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett, and I will be your host today for episode 8 of our Europa Universalis Let's Play as Ashikaga into Kirishin, Japan. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Uh, last episode, we had conquered small pieces of Korea, about three provinces in total, and we fully annexed Ainu, giving me access to, first of all, have a decent number of troops here, but we decided to move them over and simply get rid of, you know, in quotations, get rid of the natives. So, uh, since I might be getting monetized soon, I'm going to try and not say things that would very obviously get me demonetized. So we're going to try our best, maybe keep this a little bit of a better channel. <clears throat> anyway, so, seeing as uh, tech is going to be coming up soon, the only way we can keep our innovativeness will be to use uh, military. It looks like uh, our admin has been falling a little bit on the uh, short side, to say the very least. And Diplo, well, the only thing that really matters much with Diplo... Uh, actually, that would have been Overseas Exploration, but... Now that we've explored, well, not explored, but discovered the Americas... Uh, see, we get this, so that means we can technically spawn colonialism in nine years, which is nice. Uh, so, yeah, look at all those check marks. So, as long as we have a port, as long as a, a lot of different random things... Uh, I don't know why it's all important about Chikazin. Oh, Chikazin's the most important, or most likely, to uh, to appear in. So Chikazin, which is right here, apparently it's the most likely to appear in here. For what reason? I have no idea. But uh, apparently the game deems it a very important province, and so it is likely to spawn there. Even though, well, pretty much all these areas fit the bill quite nicely. Uh, I mean, my capital is above... 12 developments, so that works. And I just need to have discovered the New World, like, at all, and have quests for the New World. That's that's literally all you need. That's it. So, as long as you're not an island, and technically... Okay, not even technically. Japan is a, a chain of islands, right? But not... It means, like, as long as your capital isn't, like, right here, then you can. So, so technically, even if you discover the New World as Ryukyu, I don't know how, that, how you would do that, but even if you do, it can't possibly, um, you're not allowed to spawn it. And, th and the reason is, it's a very good reason, okay? The reason is because, um, do you see anywhere this can spread to? Hmm? Because I certainly don't. There's no way to get a claim on Ryukyu except for here. But no one actually exists here unless it's colonized, right? Also, this technically doesn't count as an island. Don't ask me why. This, this is obviously an island, but it doesn't count. Um, because it has more than one province, if you get what I'm putting down. Um, but yeah, essentially, Ryukyu cannot spawn colonialism, even if they discover the New World. Which I feel is very justified, because certain areas... Like, let's say you're playing at a, as a custom nation in Wake Island, not part of the New World, technically, at all. Um, there's no way for you to spread that to anyone else. You would literally just cause the entire game to get set back hundreds of years, since no one can figure out what colonialism is for a long time long, long time until they make a colonial nation, and then it sort of naturally spreads to your capital. But enough about that, let's start playing the game, uh, and let's talk about diplomacy, since we have so many diplomats and pretty much nothing to do with them. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty much, pretty much nothing to do with them. I can't. I mean, can I, can I insult Ming, maybe? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, but I need, oh, no, I can do that, okay. See, so there's something about, like, losing half of your territory that would be really, really funny. Uh, no, uh, no. Now, let's just, let's just go with this one. Something random. I just care about the power projection. Very nice to have some extra points generation, because why not? All of my vassals, uh, all my daimyos, I should say, kind of still hate me to a degree. Uh, well, again, they don't hate me, they just, they're not a huge enough fan of me, is the way I'm going to state that. Because, well, we need to have 190, and there's just, there's no way, that's just not happening with any of them for now. Yeah, not, none of them. Because they kind of, they kind of don't like me that much. And there's no way that we can artificially uh, increase that by any of these buttons. Yeah, that wouldn't work. These are all things about loyalty and, well, loyalty and getting more annexations with this one. But we can't really annex in the first place, so there's no point in spending that. Uh, we 
could technically convert. It would take a while. Uh, if I make it a state. And then use the uh, edict. Just to show you. Uh, enforce religious unity. That could speed things up a little bit. Yeah. That, that could be a thing I could do. But that would spread Shinto. Well, it's all about... It's all about just having that religious unity for now before I swap to uh, whatever denomination of Christianity I'm going to find myself with in the future. Uh, it depends kind of, I think, on who gets here first. So let's say we meet with England first, who is going to be turning Anglican. We might have the chance to adopt that. Um, most colonial powers are very Catholic, so France, Portugal, Spain, the usual contestants for coming over here. I mean... The, there might be a chance the Dutch will get here, and then maybe we'll be able to embrace something that's not Catholicism, because we're not going to be able to reform, keep in mind. We can change religions, but we can't do that whole reforming thing that uh that happened in the HRE, so we're just going to have to, I, I don't know, to stick with what we what we get in the end, be, be, be satisfied with whatever we get. Uh, we've discovered South China, sounds good to me. Explore some more South China, because why not? Does this does this count as South China? D does it? Does it really? Because they're coming over here. The last I checked, that wasn't really South China. But I'm no uh, cartographer, so I wouldn't really know where the boats are, are going. Maybe this is the right direction. Hmm, perhaps, perhaps. Oh, and I didn't pay any attention. I love it when I do that. Yeah, guys, I'll show you a new trick last episode, and then I'll do something stupid and not use it. Ha! Nice. Uh, how about, can I get a better guy? Is this the one assigned? The... I was about to say they're named the same thing, but they're very much not, aren't they? They're named similar things, so I was a little confused for a minute there. But yeah, this should be an easy rebellion to put down. No problemo there. Uh, are you guys all cord? Like, all of you? Ah, oh, would you look at that? Yeah, you are. Okay, cool. Would that also make it easier to convert? No, it wouldn't. Okay. Uh, but if I did this, would it... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Rest in peace, my admin, but I don't care that much about it. Uh, anyway. So, uh, that'll be changed, the whole territory thing. Maybe it'll update in a month. Because it's no longer a territory. It is now a core state of Japan. So, don't know what's going on there. But, okay. Oh, okay, hold on. Exploration finished, and then there's this. Yeah, yeah, English. Uh, growth of the administration. What should we do with this? Uh, well, don't want the Bushi going under, don't want the merchants going under, but the merchant guilds do not need that much power. Uh, ooh, wow. The Bushi could really take a massive hit, and then the clergy becomes too powerful. Everyone's just too powerful, aren't they? Everyone's just a little bit too strong for their own good. Okay. I wouldn't mind the Bushi having a little bit more power. That wouldn't be terrible, but then the merchant guilds just lose their minds. And then, uh, yeah, we can't give it to the Merchant Guilds, that's a definite no. So, either the first or third option. The Clergy would be really strong if we did that. And the Bushi would, I don't know, jump off a cliff or something because of how upset they are with me. Um, I mean, I guess... Oh, this hurts. This hurts a lot, but we have to do that. Wow, that is painful. The Merchant Guilds are just so, so upset. Oh, okay, that's gonna take... A while before those wounds heal, but uh, okay, not really much I can do about it. Sometimes it just it just is that way. Sometimes it be like that, you know. It's just sometimes there's just nothing you can do, and you just gotta accept that. So moving on, um, these will take okay, yeah, these won't take as long anymore, and then we can even go as far as to do this. Yeah, it'll cost a little bit of money, but everything will, you know. Be converted faster, so to speak. That will go at about uh, 3.6 per month. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Let's grab that so that we don't uh, so that we don't lose our uh, innovativeness. It looks like Shoni wants to rail Mary. Sure thing. I don't think there would be any problem with that. How many daimyos do I have? Six. Six daimyos left, and I need to rail Mary. Another one to make them happy. Um, you seem like you'd be happier with a real marriage. 
So maybe some of the ones I have royal marriages with, I have a much better chance. Yeah, I just need to wait two years and I can annex Shimazu. Uh, not that I really should, because I'm gonna want to wait a little while. Maybe annex two at a time. Oh, but that won't be worth it, would it? Mm. Oh, hold on. That's a military, which we don't really need. Or 20 army tradition. Holy hell, give me that. That's a lot of army tradition. Damn, okay, I'll take that. That's much that's much better than uh, the military power. You can't you can't really just naturally get army tradition like that, so I'll take it. Uh, free legitimacy. Oh, this is an interesting, very unique event. So what happens? Uh, we gain legitimacy. We see the Musashi. Musashi. Where is that? Mm hmm Musashi, over here. Which, uh, keep in mind, is one of the two things I'm pretty sure you actually need to form Japan. Yeah, okay. Just, just making sure. Uh, we could make them a daimyo. They could love me. And... We just gain legitimate... I, I don't care that much, if I'm gonna be honest. I just, I really, I really kinda don't. Not very much, at least. So in the meantime... Uh, no one's gonna be that upset, right? No, I don't think so. Uh, we can also grab Diplo. I mean, at this point, we've already discovered the Americas, so I don't see why not just grabbing it. Keeping that tech updated. And I really hope this doesn't take too long, because we... Oh, yeah, th see, there we go. Japanese tea culture. Tea increases by uh, 25%. What did I tell you? What did I tell you guys that tea was going to be pretty important? Look at that. We started making tea in Mutsu, and look at that. Now we're making money off it. I told you guys. I told you guys. You guys probably probably believe me, though, because you've probably played Japan once or twice. But if you haven't, there you go. Now, now you understand. And um, I think soon this is going to pop, so we might as well hit that button. They're, they're a little upset, understandably. Uh, but there's just not really much they can do about it, to be honest. These guys are gonna group up, and we're gonna actually fight the rebellion without that 1k. Yes, I know, it's a crime, oh no. But this will allow us to, you know, not get that 10 years of separatism, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that would kind of suck. Good thing we did that. And as for, uh, actually, there's just no separatism here at all. Why is that? Oh yeah, they had a recent uprising, my bad. Kind of forgot about that. So you guys are part of the same state. Gotcha. You guys are now part of a... A cord, like a full state kind of core. Um, but you you actually don't need your autonomy raised. Oh, because you had a reason uprising. Of course you did. I forgot about that. Actually, yeah, I really did forget about that. When did that happen? Did that happen last episode? I want to say maybe it did. But I don't really remember. Yeah, in any way, in any case, uh, that's fine. So, uh, I guess we're just gonna forge forward and watch people as they collapse. It looks like Korea might be a little bit, uh, past what they can, I don't know, bitten off more than they can chew, is the expression, I think. Yeah, they've done a little more than, than they can handle. Uh, ooh, that would be dangerous. Oh, I really want that, but that's too dangerous. But they are at 58%, keep that in mind. So, 38%, uh, it'll be maybe two years before they're, you know, they've sprung back to normal. Nothing, nothing too bad. Maybe even less, I mean, probably less, to be honest. We can core next in here, uh, or can we? Or can we? Oh, wait, no, that was a, that wasn't a missionary, that was a core. Psh, I don't know what I'm talking about. Losing my mind a little bit, as normal, as normal. Of course. Our Admiral is actually kind of, uh, dead though. So let's, let's grab a new one. And of course he's going to cost me one per month. Uh, is there anything we can do? Yes, there is actually. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's, let's be honest. He's not worth the points we're losing. So, might as well get rid of him. 
We should also do our best to get uh, a half price level two advisor. That would be really beneficial right now for uh, for admin. I mean, because you know, you know how there's like the whole conquering path for Japan. We haven't even the only conquering we've done is a little bit of Korea, and like a tribe to the north. Now listen, uh, our our admin has been kind of terrible this entire run. So imagine if we like form J Japan like this way. Imagine if we did that. That would be kind of terrible. I'm just thinking about this like retro in a retrospect kind of way. Like imagine if we had done that and we had to conquer everything else. That would be terrible. We wouldn't get free state cores. Uh, everything would cost so much. And even though it'll take a while, I'm I'm okay with waiting because this will form the stronger Japan. The uh, less autonomy. Less devastation, more development, Japan. Now, speaking of development, uh, can I ask someone to very kindly... No, I can't. Okay, I can't ask them to very kindly give me some uh, development, which kind of sucks. I thought with the number of, of provinces you all have, you would have at least... Oh, yeah, you do have at least 20. Why can't I take some from Yemena? Oh, their most developed province needs to have 20. Okay, so I was going to say, oh, I could develop this twice. Haha. -ha. And then, okay, no, I'm not that. Sometimes I'm that dumb, but I'm not I'm not going to do that right now. That would be stupid. Because then I just gain one development and it depends. Actually, that could be big brain time. So let's say hypothetically, like it took less like, if this takes a one click, it's 138. If this is two clicks, let's say theoretically that's like 63 times 2 plus 5. So let's say that's 126 plus 5, that's 131. God, I'm doing my math right, right? So 131 <laughs> compared to 138. Technically, if we want to be super technical about this, if we develop Setsu twice, then steal development, we're saving a couple points on our capital. I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm putting it out there. It's something you could do. It's, it's really convoluted and stupid, but it is something you could do. Again, technically, I wouldn't, I wouldn't encourage doing that, but it is something we could do if we wanted to, if we really, really wanted to. I'm kind of considering it. If I'm going to be honest, it would be, oh, oh, that'd be kind of funny. It would be kind of funny, but also kind of not. Oh, but our colony's done. Oh, I didn't think I'd get this far, actually. What do I do with this? What do I do with this? Do I... Can I start colonizing over... No? Okay. Uh, can I... I... I can do that over here. That sounds stupid. I could... Apparently, there's no connection between the Kirills and, and Kamchatka, so... Uh... I could naval invade them. And get really, really close to Alaska. Start colonizing there, but is that is that a smart thing to do? Is it? I think it's so much smarter to start going down here. If I'm going to be honest, if I'm going to keep it a buck fifty, I think I think it would be so much smarter to start colonizing down here. I don't need to have a colony. And the, oh wait, hold on. We should think this through though, because I might not necessarily get colonialism spawned in my country, which means, yeah, I'm going to want to have a colony here so I can make an actual colonial nation and then start gaining colonialism that way. Because if you, if you don't get it spawning in whatever port of your country, the only other way you can get it to spawn naturally without development is by having a colonial nation. So, I'm, I'm taking this, like, super theoretically. I If I don't get it, then I'm going to want to sort of start colonizing over here. But how long will it take for a war with the Kamchadels? Is it even worth sending a colonist down here to do some work if I'm going to want to immediately move him over here when I have the, like, the possibility to? And there's just... I know it's in-game, but there's a seagull in my ear, and it's actually just giving me a small headache. But anyway... Uh, in theory, again, in theory, we could invade Count Chanel's and then Chukchi and then get really, really close to Alaska. 
in the time it would take, well, not like half the time it would take to colonize an area over here. I should start doing that. That's that's the goal. That's what we're aiming for today, actually. We're gonna naval invade the Kamchadels. They are tech 7, I am tech 8. Uh, they have 6,000 men. They're allied with Chavchuvani, which is over here. You can see their outline, so they're not very hidden, but oh well. Alright, let's let's uh, let's start the whole process then. Let's go through the whole thing. We can even build a flagship, which I find kind of interesting. I'm interested in that. I'm very interested in a flagship right now, actually. Because now that I think about it... Where is that? Where is that? Oh, no, that's a Portugal-only thing. Yeah, the, uh... The expanded uh, exploration. That's a Portugal-only thing. I can't actually do that. Forgot about that. Okay, that's fine. Well, we'll, we'll spare ourselves uh, making a flagship for now. We're just going to build uh, three cogs. A fourth one wouldn't go astray either. I don't know if that's a saying or not. Probably not, to be honest. Um, you can explore the Northeast Pacific. I'm assuming a little bit more over here. Probably not much, but at least something. We've converted Kamikawa. Okay, cool. Let's uh, get this province, which I can't pronounce properly, probably, so... We can also decrease our maintenance. We can also start uh, doing covert actions on the two of these. Both of them. So that when I finish the Kamchadels, I can get a claim and immediately go to war with Chukichi. So this will be a lot of fun. This will be interesting, at least. What are we going to want for this naval invasion? Well, I'm glad you totally asked the person who can't speak to me through the... It's assumably uh, either phone screen or computer monitor. Uh, first of all, turn on the music. Second of all, well, we are going to need a pretty decent balance for the 10 ships, maybe 11. I'm thinking 11. Yeah, 11 that we're going to have. Um, actually, go back here. We'll just figure it out from here. Okay, so for 11, first of all, we're going to want... The 4 cav will be nice. That'll leave me with... 6 infantry and a cannon. But then maybe I'll want to take 3 cav, because I need more infantry. I'm, o I'm overthinking this, aren't I? I'm definitely overthinking this. Let's just whip up something random. Give me that cannon. Give me one more cavalry. Send them over there. While the ships are being built... And while the supply networks are, uh, plotting, I guess. And while my vassals very, very slowly liked, like me a little bit better. Uh, apparently I'm a tyrant overlord again? Yeah, I don't know when that happened, but okay. Uh, you guys can explore the no- the northeast pacific coast, which... Wait, what did- what did you explore? Is that- is- no, you already had that. What are you- What did you find? Oh, n- mm, no, seriously, what did you find? This, maybe? That's not an actual... What is that? Oh, is that a seal on a rock? Nice. Or it's a, maybe it's a sea lion. That's kind of cute. Okay, I didn't know we had that. So do I... Ex oh, yeah, okay, I discovered this little area up here. Yeah, it's Alaska, right here. Yeah, obviously. Um, It's kind of wasteland, and there's a little... A cute little bear there. We got a cute little seal on a rock, it looks like. And we also might be out of time. Let me check the time real quick. We are looking at 25-ish minutes, and Google Chrome is telling me that I haven't done my Duolingo today. Darn, okay. No problemo. Uh, so, we're going to have that 11k. We're going to have these guys. We're going to make sure everything is ready for the next episode when we declare war on the... Uh, I think it's going to be the, the two tribes over there. Of course, we're going to be at war with uh, Chef Juveni over there. But that's fine. Probably. Oh, uh, we could get an heir who is... I want to say... Maybe as good as the last one. Still... Technically... Not that great. You see, I kind of, I kind of wonder. 
do do leaders and like their children do they pass on their stats is there is there a gene sort of thing going on in the background of my eu4 let's plays that i or my eu4 games that i don't know of is there like a whole uh, I, I don't i don't know anything about biology actually i was gonna make a joke but uh i don't have nearly enough knowledge on the subject to make a good one at least but something about genetics is that does that really go on because what i'm seeing here is a two a two and a two a four, a four, and a four, and for some reason they're just they're just bad at, at diplo. I I don't know. It just sort of happens like that. Wow, I could I could lose for five years. I could lose legitimacy. Five. I could lose twenty five legitimacy for this. Oh my dear God. I could lose ten prestige and twenty five legitimacy for this. That's ridiculous. That's that's ridiculous. Wow. Oh, screw it. We're gonna take it. We're gonna take the air. Sure, why not? They're, they're like, they're, I think they're better than the last one. I think the last one was like a 1-3-3 a three, three or something like that. You know what? At least it's like, at least it's, they're, they're not even quite at, at 9 stats, so. Slightly below average air. Not terrible by any means. Nothing phenomenal, just... Just sort of okay. Just alright. You, you'll you do. We can put you on a throne. Maybe get the advisors to, to really tell you what to do. You know, that might be a solid idea. Perhaps. Should I core this part of Korea? How many states can I have, actually? I could have sworn that's over here, isn't it? Uh, no. I, mm, I thought it would be. Economy, maybe? Court, maybe? No, not court. I could have sworn it was here. Yeah, number of states plus five, but I want to see, like, the actual number of states number. Maybe? Oh, no, no, it's, in, it's in this, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So I can have 15 states. Uh, how many am I missing? Shikoku is a state. Okay. This is a state. This, not a state. So one, two, Uh, wait, no, hold on. Ones I can click on edicts. Those are the ones that are stated. I can I can check that. So, I can't actually do a state in this one. I can in this one, if I click on my province. So, one. Uh. Two. I'm assuming this is stated. Okay, yeah, so I have two states in Japan left to create so that leaves me with one state extra two states extra actually so i could turn eastern korea into a state no problem okay yeah that's fine that's fine okay just wanted to make sure i'm not losing my mind or anything just just gotta make sure every now and then do a little check up on my 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 odd mental state you know you can only play eu4 for so long before you start to go a little bit insane and uh, I'm glad I'm starting to show those signs early in my lifetime before I have much, much more EU playing to go. But anyways, this is Corvus signing off. Hoping you had a fantastic time because I believe we are out of, well, ironically, time. So, I hope you guys had a fantastic time this episode. And as always, have a fantastic day.